Halo AI is back. They just released Halo 2.3 and it is insane for cinematic AI videos. We finally have accurate character expressions and the motion is insanely smooth. Making your scenes look more realistic by actually capturing those small details that bring your character to life. It works amazing in scenes where there's a lot of action happening, like fight scenes or when someone is running, and it truly shines an image to video generation. In this video, I will show you all kinds of examples to see how good Halo 2.3 actually is yeah that's that's insane we will do this directly through halo ai i will leave the link in the description down below so once you're on the platform if you go over to videos then here you can see that you can select the model 2.3 and 2.3 fast now this one is faster and has higher efficiency and the other one is a bit smoother now with this version you can add in your start frame and your end frame so basically you just drop in your image and then you add in your prompt and now you can start generating your videos you can do so up to 1080 and to maximum of six seconds if you switch back to 768p you can do for 10 seconds so that is one thing you need to know then you can also use their presets which is like swing dance contemporary dance belly dance you can do all kind of different things in here which is their preset library you also have camera controls where you can use their presets in terms of like any camera motion like a downward tilt or a stage left so let's test it out in four different categories we got motion realism expressions and stylizations these are four different categories that most ai video generators still struggle with starting off with motion i got this image of a dancer and i've animated it using this prompt right here so if we play this then we can see wow that motion is insane i love how she goes from slow to like fast doing the dances i don't see anything weird going on with her dress I do see the background changing a little bit, but I did give bright festive lighting in the prompt. Honestly, this is quite good. I've seen multiple different examples, like here's another example of a person dancing using Halo 2.3. Honestly, this is quite insane. Okay, let's try another one. I got this snowboarder right here, which hopefully will be me this winter. And I've put in this prompt that he's riding downhill at high speed towards a snow ramp. Now the camera is following him and yeah, he does a jump and let's see what happens. Oh shit. Okay, that's, that's insane. There's a small, small glitch happening like right around here where he morphs onto the other side. Like that's, that's almost an impossible move there. But that jump and that flip and the landing he nails it halo as well they nail it like the movement if someone blinks you wouldn't see that mistake i think people would think this might be real when they see it. so the motion on humans is pretty good now let's try it on animals so i got this horse right here i put in this image as a start frame and we're basically telling the horse to start running so let's see what happens he starts off a bit weird but honestly the movement looks realistic like you can see the muscles being activated and you can see its manes or its hairs like moving as he's running i think this one's quite good now let's move over to the next category which is realism so i use this image right here and let's have a look i love how they make the ear like twitch a little bit then he gets up slowly he's still like he's staring into your soul like he doesn't lose eye contact with you at all but the movement on this is pretty realistic like i could believe that this isn't ai okay so i got this image of a soldier standing at the edge of a building and honestly this like i play too much battlefield like this <laughs> this has me thinking about battlefield that's why i put this in there so i want to start it with a close-up and then the camera switches around and reveals a giant robot that is destroying the building in the background so let's see what happens this guy looks scared shitless <laughs> i quite love the like the camera switch and how fast that motion is and then we have this giant robot and it's swinging its arm and rip that building so yeah what are you gonna do buddy i think it's time to go home. now let's move over to the next category which is emotion we already had a bit of a taste with this scene but for the next scene i specifically prompted it to show some kind of emotion so while we're on the topic of soldiers i got another one this one is kneeling on the battleground he just had like a really really rough 
the day and the camera is moving closer to his face he looks up to the sky with a quiet and sad helpless expression the other soldiers are walking away in the blurry background cold gray silent atmosphere looks like he just lost like a lot of like his brothers and then we have this dude in the background who is just i don't know what he's doing i think the graininess of the rain makes it look a bit strange but overall this is quite impressive i love if we just zoom in on the face like he has had a really rough day like you can tell he's been through some shit like he has seen things like we can't even imagine that and this this person is ai he doesn't even exist but i i feel bad for him so yeah that's the level ai is already becoming if we already can like relate to ai characters that's insane like where is this gonna go in like one or two years from now okay wow that stuff got me emotional seeing my brother cry like that let's switch it up for a second now let's try some different styles like let's for example do anime and this time we're doing a fight scene so here i have two anime boxers in a ring circling each other throwing light jabs while the camera moves sideways following their motion so let's see okay okay that i i love how the the motion of the characters is not slow like usually what you see happening a lot is we have this like slow motion scenes and that's a bit easier for the ai this one looks a bit more realistic still it has somewhere to go i think there's some morphing going on right here at the background of the audience but overall there's not much morphing going on in the characters itself okay let's try one last time so this is anime again we got this battle of these people sword combat dynamic camera smooth movement cinematic lighting energy explosion and we have fire and ice so let's see what's happening here starting off slow-mo then they're throwing some kind of attacks and boom. I wish that scene was longer, but the 1080p generation is only 6 seconds, unfortunately. But this one is quite intense. I, I love how the background moves. Yeah, this is super sick. So those are 8 different examples of Halo AI. And honestly, it's quite insane if you use this for anything like fight scenes, like chase scenes, dances, anything action related. But also, there's a lot more to this. You can do more than that. You can do facial expressions, emotion. All of that can be done inside of this tool. I will leave the link for this in the description down below. And you can click the video that's on the screen right now if you want to learn how to use AI for 3D animations.